Howdy y'all. Welcome to another episode of Country Fixing. And a charging battery for about 12 hours for the lawnmower and uh, fixing to take it off and we're going to go see if she starts up. So the first thing that I always do is I unplug the charger. Then take the positive off. negative off and then just tote then I'm going to be toting the battery out to the lawnmower and we'll see how she works so we're back out here to the lawnmower I'm going to put the lawnmower battery back on and see if she works I'm not going to hook everything up to no know it works and then after I know it works good then I'll uh, put the bracket back on that holds the battery down so one-handed we're gonna see how this works and we know the positive goes up in here and the negative toward the back of the mower so we make sure you put it up in there the right way I can pop this all up. So I can do this with two hands. And she's up in there. And you get your find your bolts that you had. My bolts I laid on the deck over here. So all you do, I always put the negative on first. Just pretty sure there's a reason why I do it. I just don't remember the reason to tell y'all. But it's always safer to put the negative on first. And if you don't already know it, the red is positive and the black is negative. I don't think I said that in my last one, but the negative sign is a minus sign and the positive sign is a plus sign. I know that's a little... Seems like everybody would know that, but they probably do know it. They just don't know to put them two and two together. That means the same stuff. We got the same tools as yesterday. Got the impact, the extension, the adapter that takes it to socket, and then the extension on here. Push it on. Just tighten it down to a piece of lead, and lead will smush, so don't tighten it too much. Just enough to where your wire doesn't move, and then uh, yeah, it's as tight as it needs to be. And make sure it'll all move. All right, phone fell and uh, it ended the video, so starting this one off again. It worked the way I did it, so I'm putting the mounting bracket back in. And then she be tight. Now the battery's in there. It's all good to go. And that's uh, how to take your battery off, how to charge your battery, and how to check and make sure it works before you put it all the way back on, which cables to put on which, and then how to put the mounting system back on. Well, thank y'all for tuning in to Country Fixing. I hope y'all have a great day and a great weekend.